Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GameTube, and welcome back to our Poppy Playtime character concept series. So for our next smiling critter, the character we created is named Early Worm. So we'll go through this character's backstory, gameplay mechanics, and all that good stuff as well. But before we do any of that, do be sure to leave a like and subscribe to GameTube as it helps a lot and it's greatly appreciated. It also keeps you up to date with the videos that we post. As always, I will just state that this character is not necessarily into the overall universe and lore of Poppy Playtime. This is just a fun what-if scenario and a cool creepy character we get to show off and we hope you enjoy. Alrighty, well with that all out of the way, let's get into the next Forgotten Critters character concept with Early Worm. So, previously in our Poppy Playtime character concept series, we've been looking into the characters of the Forgotten Critters. Ever since our main protagonist has found themselves in the secret facility, they've come across a number of strange smiling critters. So far they've met Axabubble and Glimmer Glowfish. It seems that all the critters at this facility have been experimented on and have different abilities to all the other mainline critters. Axabubble could blow scented bubbles, and Glimmer Glowfish had an inbuilt nightlight and could glow as well. But these experiments backfired and made them into terrifying creatures. And now our main protagonist is about to meet another one of these strange characters. And this one in particular is probably the strangest of them all. So the next forgotten critter character that we're introducing is called Early Worm. As most of you already noticed, Early Worm doesn't have any arms or legs. It's just his head and his long stretchy body. Early Worm. Even this worm is earlier than the bird. Being early and on time is important. Everyone should pay attention to the clock and try their very best to be punctual. Being late is out of the question. He makes sure all his friends are where they need to be on time. Scent, green apple. So Early Worm's body is completely poseable and stretchy as well. Playtime Co. wanted to design a smiling critter that was different from all the rest. And making a critter with no arms and legs was the way to do it. In the beginning, Early Worm looked to be a promising addition to this smiling critter's crew. But the extreme changes they made to his body didn't work out so well. Over time, the modifications to Early Worm's body drove him insane. But despite all the painful body modifications, Early Worm was always on time. He was so obsessed with being early that he made his own efficient way of moving around. He tunneled holes all throughout this area of the facility. This way he could quickly and efficiently move around and be on time but it got to the point where he would remove everything in his way, and everyone, because in the end, what's most important is being on time. So now we return back to the player. After escaping Glimmer Glowfish, they continue their journey back to the surface. They've made it further into the facility and are nervously awaiting the next evil toy creature to pop out and greet them. And they had a feeling it would be soon, all over this area were large holes that had been dug straight through the concrete surface. They were everywhere. What on earth could have made these giant holes? Like always, the player had a feeling they would soon find out who it was. While walking through this area, the player needs to avoid these large tunneled out holes. If they get too close, they could fall straight through them. Or something could probably jump out and grab them. Eventually they came to a point where they would need to swing over one of these holes. And just as they did, something leapt out and narrowly missed them. The player looks back to see what it was. It was Early Worm, but this was a much more eerie version of himself. And then suddenly, the player sees how he could tunnel through this area with such ease. A deadly mess of sharp teeth and fangs emerged from his mouth. This is definitely not the friendly version of Early Worm anymore. He retreats back into the hole and moves through to another opening. The player needs to be extra careful now. Everywhere that there's an opening, Early Worm could rush through and snatch up the player. And that's exactly what he tries to do. All over this facility, Early Worm would pick his body out and try to get them. There was nothing the player could do. They just needed to wait until he retreated back inside the hole. In some instances, there could be a hole on either side of the walls. And Early Worm would rush through and try to get the player. They would need to wait and pick the right time to walk through. This definitely posed a challenge for the player, and it made getting around this area much more difficult. But the most difficult thing of all was the way forward. Early Worm was smart, and he made a large tunnel in front of the only way to the next area of the facility. He'd be waiting there for the player and jump out and get them if they got too close. Now what do they do? There's got to be a way they can get past Early Worm. Maybe this purple hand can help them out of this situation. Ever since they got it, they've had no idea what it does. When they're in complete darkness, it glows slightly, so there must be something that this hand does. 
maybe there's a way they can activate it somehow. The player decides to look around and see if there's anything that can help them. They just need to be careful not to run into Early Worm whilst looking around. Eventually, the player finds something that might be what they're after. It was a purple hand control panel of some sort. The player hasn't seen this before. There mustn't be many scattered around the facility. They place their hand on the panel to see what it does. Suddenly, a sharp surge of energy charges through the hand. The hand is completely glowing now. The player unleashes it as they extend it and touch a wall. And then the strangest thing happens. It seems to have made a purple portal in the wall. The player can see right through it into the next room. They extend their blue hand and it passes right through. Eventually the power fades away and the portal quickly closes. It seems they need to charge the hand again to use this helpful power. This gives the player an idea. They knew exactly how they would use it to get past Early Worm. They charge the hand up once again and move back to the way forward. Before they approach the hole in the ground, they activate a portal right above it. The player then walks closer towards the tunnel till Early Worm pops out. He pops out of the hole so fast that his head peeks through the portal. The player now has to act very fast. They quickly disconnect the purple hand and the portal closes. But anything caught in between this portal would cleanly be severed. So this means Early Worm's head is now trapped on the floor above and his headless body falls down into the hole. There's nowhere he can go. Without the rest of his body, he won't be able to tunnel and burrow through the walls. The player has bested him and now they can move on safely ahead. But as to if they'll be safe for much longer isn't certain. They need to find the way back to the surface and quickly. Because for all they know, their next forgotten critter will be lurking in the shadows. And as to who it'll be next, we'll just have to wait and see. So I think that Early Worm would be an interesting addition to the Forgotten Critters roster of characters. His design is the most unique out of all the characters, and his ability to tunnel throughout the facility would offer some challenging gameplay segments as well. The player would need to keep on their toes and look out for anywhere that he could emerge from. And if they aren't careful, they'll be done for much earlier than they expected. Alrighty everyone, well that's what we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting and subscribing as it helps a lot and it's greatly appreciated. As always, let us know in the comment section down below what you thought of Early Worm and what you'd like to see going forward. Also do be sure to keep commenting your own original character ideas in the comment section down below because it's awesome to see what you guys are coming up with and how inventive and creative you can be. And we always love reading these comments so do be sure to keep sharing. Alrighty everyone, well to our next Poppy Playtime character concept video, I'll catch you later, bye.